my friends good morning what a sweet beautiful morning this morning is isn't it but what about the, the morning from yesterday what a sweet beautiful morning that morning was as well and what about the, the morning of two days ago or three days ago wasn't that sweet as well and if you ask me why why are you calling those mornings sweet well we woke up we woke up to a new day you had the chance to go to your window open it wide and feel the fresh air of morning rushing rushing and coming and taking over and your lungs said uh, thank you fresh air you breathe your heart is pumping you are alive that is a sweet morning my friends with this uh, beautiful musical background uh, talking to jesus elevation worship maverick city because that's what i'm uh, listening lately music from them and i have a great time of worshiping i have a great time allowing god to take over and this is a sweet morning indeed my friend have you talked to jesus already i want to talk to him more every time when i talk to jesus i find my peace every time when i talk to jesus i find my joy every time i talk to jesus heaven comes and stays with me every time i talk to jesus i want to talk to jesus i want to spend time with jesus every time i spend time with jesus it's less of me and more of him and that's what i want i want the less of me and more of him up to the day in which everything that is uh, this of me will melt in his 100 beautiful pure presence let's talk to jesus let's talk to jesus let's close our eyes and say lord uh, we want to talk to you lord we invite you in our life today as well lord take over of our emotion that always problems here in our emotions lord you take over completely 100 percent. take over of the way in which we think so uh, there will be no negative thoughts coming and troubling us take over in everything that we do lord you have to be the center in everything that you do you have to be the inspiration you be our very lives lord you take over praise your holy name now and forever speak to our hearts lord we are hungry for you we are hungry for your presence we are hungry lord fill our heart with you again we're never gonna have enough of you lord. talking to jesus let me read to you a bible verse let me read to you a Bible verse that uh, inspired me. And uh, I'm telling you, I have no problem being inspired by God. But I, I don't want to be inspired by this world. I'm not interested in anything that this world has to offer. I'm going to read to you from 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. I know you know this Bible verse. I know you repeated this Bible verse many times. Let me let me remind to you and to myself as well about this. First John chapter 4, verse 9. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that uh, we might live through him. Why I'm not interested in anything that this world has to offer? Because this world didn't show me and I'm sure that this world didn't show you love not the, the love that they proclaim every day from their false pulpits so-called pulpits they proclaim that love is a lust and that lust is love and they always try to confuse us that's not love 
they proclaim that if you love me, I love you. If you don't love me, I will not love you. That's not love. They proclaim that love is emotions. Love is that uh, having butterfly in your stomach. They proclaim that that is love. No, that is not love. Love is Jesus sacrificing himself on the cross. Love is him uh, showing to us that we need uh, selflessness. That we need to put others more on the scale they should weigh more than our own selfish interests. Jesus, he redefined love. He redefined it from our point of view because we had the wrong definitions. Jesus is love. First Corinthians chapter 13 comes always kicking in. You know, first Corinthians chapter 13, isn't it? Love is kind, love is selfless, love doesn't envy. There is the perfect definition of love. And always, with so much pleasure in my heart, always, if I have the chance, I will always say about 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is how God showed His love. The fact that He sent His one and only Son, so we might live through Him, is the proof of ultimate love. Let's talk to Jesus, my friends. Let's never get tired of talking to Him. That is the problem. We talk less with Him and more with this world. And when we talk with this world, we're losing ourselves. And it's easy to lose ourselves. Why is so easy? We have this heart. I said that many times. We have our sinful nature. And our sinful nature should make us scream, shout out, just like Apostle Paul. Wow to me! Wow to me! Who is going to deliver me from this body of death? Wow to me! The body of death is our sinful nature. But praise be to God that already gave us victory through Christ and Christ alone. Through Christ. To Christ. Not to Archangel Gabriel. Not to Mahomet. Not to Buddha. Not through Krishna, not through Confucius, no, the only name that has power to open the gates of heaven for us, why is the name of Jesus, repeat this name, Jesus, shout out this name uh, and the devil will run, he cannot stand the presence of Jesus, shout out the name of Jesus and you will be set free. I know you need freedom and all of us we need freedom freedom from our worries freedom from our sorrow freedom from the hurt that was inflicted on us freedom from uh, some addictions that we might have through Jesus you have your freedom embrace that freedom there at the foot of the cross and then gazing at the empty grave that grave that could not contain him. And through him, no grave will be able to contain us as well. Yeah, we're going to leave this tent. This tent, we're going to leave it behind. But we will have a body of glory. That will be given to us. God bless you, my friends. And thank you so much for listening. And up to next time, don't forget, God loves you. God wants to spend time with you, and you can spend time with Him by talking to Jesus. She was talking to Jesus. She was talking to Jesus. We're all over love.